This is June 2017 and we're in Surrey today and we've come to the Federation winning lofts of Hathaway and Paul of Egham. This is Steve Paul. Good morning Steve. Morning Keith. Thanks very much for letting me come and see your birds today. Uh, thank you for coming over. And you had a good season this year, won the Fed twice? Yes we have. Yeah, what was the first Fed winner? Is that Lambrick? Yeah. The Mealy Cop. Yeah, Mealy Cop. He was ninth, tenth Fed Yeovil. Yeah, good pigeon. Yeah, good pigeon. You had a good race, didn't you, that day? Yes, we did. We had the first seven in the Fed. Yeah. Yeah, 2,484 2, birds. Yeah. yeah. Good going, mate. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah, there's quite a few hens amongst them, wasn't it? Yeah, there's uh, one cock, yeah. six hens. Yeah, yeah. absolutely terrific. The cock won the fed. Yeah, yeah. cock won the fed. Yeah, terrific. Yeah. And then you won the fed again since, yep. yeah? King's Town. Yeah. Yeah, last week. Yeah. Yeah, we had first and second fed. Yeah. That was a lamb brick as well. Yeah. Second pigeon was a surgeon, flying against 2,232 yeah, pigeons. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. It's the BB&O fed. BB&O fed, that's what it's it is. It's a big old fed, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's a hard fed to win it. Yeah. You know, there was 143 members last week, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, incredible. yeah. Um, you just moved the loft, didn't you, a few years yeah, ago? Yeah, we moved it a few years ago. For two thousand, end of 2014, we moved it. Yeah. Yeah. And because you had some good performances prior to that. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, so the last race we had around there with the first six in the fed from East Yeah. 1,999 pigeons. Mm, yeah, some bad troubles breaking them out. Here, didn't oh, you? we lost 20 pigeons yeah. off the loft. They wouldn't stay. Yeah. Fed winners. You can almost see the other garden from here, can't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Let's just, every time we let them out, we're just straight gone. Yeah. Let them some out. Still, you're back now, mate. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's good to be back. Fantastic. Took a few years, but yeah. a bit, bit patient, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible losing all those pigeons. Oh, yeah, yeah. That Windsor Club you fly in, that's a big old club, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You know, they send four or five hundred pigeons yeah. most weeks. It's got some good members in there. Oh, Mark, Mark Gill, Johnny Gilbert. Ains, Stuart Sheffield, you can go on name Absolutely them. fantastic and club, isn't it? All capable of winning the fed every mm -hmm. week. Combines of Combines, nationals. nationals, yeah. yeah. Well done, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a beautiful cock, Peter. What's this one? Uh, it's a Lambert cock, Keith. Yeah. What would you call him? Fred. Yeah, he's, a, he's your fed, first fed winner this year, wasn't he? He's first fed, yep. Yeah, where was he's that from? He's really well. Uh, Yeovil, this one. Yeah. Took the first seven in the Fed, and he's won a tenth Fed as well, you say? He has indeed, yeah. Fantastic. He's Fantastic performance for a year, isn't it? He's been very consistent this year, Keith. Yeah. He's uh, been in our first three pigeons every week. Yeah. So what line's he down from? To be honest with you, I don't know, because when I get pedigrees of pigeons, I throw them straight away. Yeah, I, do don't, you? I don't even yeah. keep them. Yeah. So it's pedigree work you're interested in? Well, I, I buy, usually buy them on pedigree, but I never, you know, I don't particularly look at them. I'm not interested in paper. Lovely pigeon, mate. This is Peter Hathaway. Good morning, Pete. Morning, Keith. Tell us one or two things about your families of pigeons. Uh, basically, we've got two families of pigeons, uh, Lambricks and Sujans. Mm -hmm. The Lambricks are quite recent introduction, last, I don't know, three years. The Sujans we've had for probably 10 years. Yeah, they've uh, been very successful, the Sujan pigeons. The Sujans you. have flown well for us, yeah. yeah. Uh, we started off with pigeons from Ronnie Van Reet's sale from Blackpool, where we give, oh, we bought two and a half pairs actually, uh, 60 pound a pair, kept one pair, and they bred numerous winners, good good pigeons. And then we had a son of the Doherty Cop on loan from John Haynes, Windsor. We paired him to one of the Ronnie Van Reet pigeons, and they were incredible, incredible yeah. pigeons. So where do your lamb bricks come from? The lamb bricks, I brought three pigeons from St Steve Foster of uh, Preston, I believe. Yeah. And then we've got three other pigeons, same family, same, uh, well, Steve Foster pigeons, um, to pair to them. Yeah. Whittled them down to one pair. Yeah. Well, they've flown really well. Fantastic. Right. So what do you look for when you go out and buy stock pigeons then, Pete? Well, normally we buy youngsters. We don't. We won't buy older pigeons. We're looking for young pigeons that have never been bred off. Yeah. Um, I think we got you got more chance of uh, having something that breeds the goods if you buy youngsters and buying someone's chuck outs. Yeah. Um, what pedigree? We, we, all, we, away, we usually get the pedigrees, but 
when they when they get home, they go through the shredder and they uh, make good dog bedding. Yeah. Not interested in paper. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Work. I'm not going to yeah. sell pigeons that don't breed anything, and if they do breed anything, I ain't going to get rid of it. So. Yeah. And that's the end of that. Another cracking pigeon, Peter. What's this one? It's another Lambrick Keith. Yeah. Um, Grizzle N. Flown really consistent, as all of them have, really. Yes, yeah, top of fed this year. It has indeed, yeah. Where was that from? Uh, this week it was Kingsdown. Kingsdown, yeah. So first and second fed. First and second fed, yeah. Yeah, lovely pigeon. What system was she on? She's on a roundabout. Yeah. It's that say your ends. Seem to score as much as or as good as your cocks. It's a it's a strange thing, Keith. Yeah, that these ends go out once a day, fly for ten minutes maximum, yeah. and uh, the cocks are flying for two hour, two hours, but the ends keep up with them every week and race it yeah, well, and beat them as well. Tell us about your system, then, Peter, of racing. Uh, system, Keith, is basic roundabout. Yeah. Um, the, the ends go out first thing in the morning. The only difference is our ends only go out once. So they go out first thing in the morning, fly for their 10 minutes, <laughs> and then they're back in, and then the cocks go out. But the cocks stay out for the rest of the day. Yeah. We don't uh, keep them in. They don't have a false fly, never chase them. Uh, when I come home from work, they get shut in, and that's the end of that. That's what I'm saying, your system is, I mean, the hens going out for 10 minutes a day yep. and they keep up with the cocks on a Saturday, the it's hens, incredible. That, that's all they get. Uh, we used to have them flying for a couple of hours, the hens, mm. but we keep them a bit shy of food. Yeah. They don't want to stay out in the mornings. If they did stay out, I wouldn't be able to let the cocks out because I'd go to mm -hmm. work, so, uh, yeah. you know. So some, when did you pair up? How did you get them on the system? We pair up as early as possible, um, usually before Christmas. They have a round of for young'uns, they don't go back on eggs, and we split them up. That's the end of that. Yeah, and that's it. They're pretty much back on, on the system then. Yeah. Sometimes, because it's in the middle of winter, we can't be letting them out yet, but that's the way it is. So, no. Yeah, how about um, race and marking day? Do they see one another? Marking day, yeah, it's pretty much a chaos system. We just open the door, open the boxes, turn the bowls over, and it's a free for all for. 15, 20 minutes, and then yeah. away they go. Yeah, Everything cool. goes. Yeah. How about when they come back? When they come back, uh, the boxes and bowls are waiting for them, yeah. and uh, there's no other pigeons in the shed for them to come back to yeah. until their mate returns. Yeah. Uh, that's the way we fly. What do you do when they both turn up? You split, separate them, do you? We don't separate them for a couple of hours. That's a, yeah. This is Hathaway and Paul's fantastic setup here in Egham. The main racing loft has four sections, one for young birds, one for the roundabout cocks, one for the roundabout hens, and down this right hand end, they keep their stock birds. This is the sea inside the partner's roundabout loft. This section contains all the cocks at the moment. There's one or two gone to the channel last night. And there's 20 nest boxes in this section. This is the partner's roundabout hens. And they live in box perches. And these fly every week. And more often than not, beat the cocks. So tell us one or two things about your young birds, Steve. How many do you breed each season? Uh, young ones, we used to breed 80, but we ain't bred so many this year. No. We've only got 50 in the shed now. Yeah. Uh, you know, start them off. We used to take them straight to Dummer, yeah. but at the moment these are not flying, so yeah. we don't think we'd be doing that this year with yeah. them. We'll start them off, say, light water and build them up to Dummer. We yeah. like them to get to Dummer. And in racing, we like them to go every week, see every race. Yeah. You know, we don't worry about positions with young ones as long as they come home. Yeah. They're there for yearlings. We're looking for a little bit of consistency. Yeah. yeah, that's what we're looking for. How far is Dummer? Dummer's. 30 miles by road, yes. you know, as quite pigeon a popular, flies. It's quite a popular yeah. place, isn't it? Everybody yeah, goes as a dummer. pigeon flies, 30 miles. So the M3, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So how many times a week do they have that during the season? Well, as soon as the first, we train them as much as we can before the first race. Yeah. And then once the first race comes, we don't usually do it no more. That's it, no. That's it, baskets put away. Yeah. For young ones. So you haven't got a system straight to the perch? No, they just straight to the perch. Yeah. That's all they fly for. What about dark? Do the dark? If we do the dark, it's, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to do the darkness to keep them out, you know, so yeah. they hold the feathers for the season or you wouldn't be able to fly the whole season. No. 
see two races and they're falling a bit. So the last couple of years you've had to look after your babies because oh, you know, yeah, setting up we, again. We had a, yeah, we ended a team. So, you know, last year we went to the first race with 34 young and so we ended up with 29 of them. That's what I say, yearlings this year have been fantastic, yeah. haven't they, so far? Yeah. yeah. Two first feds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 we can't complain about none of them. Tell us a little bit about your brother, because you've got a third. Yeah, we've got a third partner, my brother yeah. Brian. He, through illness, he can't get down the loft no more, oh. but he's still as keen as everyone. I phone him every night, every Saturday. He wants to know the first pigeon to the last pigeon. Yeah. You have to go through the whole routine with him. Yeah. What time, who's won it, what time they clock. Great, huh? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's still a great help, you know. This is the partner's young bird section. And the young birds have got a nice flight to come out in and get some fresh air. They certainly look well. This is one of the old favourites, isn't it, Steve? What's yep. he? He's a Sujan. Yeah. Um, he's down from a cock, what we bought off John Ames. Yeah. And um, he's been a very consistent pigeon over the years for us. You know, he, uh, he's he went top, he? He Yeah, he went to Honton, where he was first club, beating 708 pigeons. And he beat 3,530 birds in the fed. Yeah, and he's been six fed, first one and six fed. He's been full fed. He's a very consistent pigeon. Yeah. If we had a few more like him, yeah. it would be good. Short head, his name is. Short head. Why yeah. do you call him short head then? Because he, he won um, the fed by a yard. Yeah, fantastic pigeon. Yeah. So you've had a few fed winners through the years then, Steve? Yes, we have. We've had the uh, first nine in the Fed from Wing Canton, beating yeah. 2,558 pigeons. Yeah. We've had the first six from East Prawn, what I've mentioned already, yeah. beating 1,999 birds. We've had, uh, we sent our young, we had, gave our young ones four training tosses one year, and we went to the f first race, and there we was first fed from Portland, yeah. beating 2,814 pigeons. And the same year, we won the Fed from Wing Canton, and we were second fed. Yeah. Beating 1,965 oh, pigeons. Fantastic performance. Yeah. But a small team of pigeons, mate. Yeah, it's oh, good, yeah, small team of pigeons. So, how far did you send your old birds in? Well, we we start them off the first race. We send them every week, and the ones that ain't showing nothing, we put them across to the water till they show something, and then we go up to Birds Rack with them. Yeah, so you go right through to the end of the year. Yeah, we go right through to the end of the year. Yeah, you know, Mickey Dickinson of Amwenta, he won the combine yeah. with the pigeons yeah. last year. Yeah, we um, put a pigeon in a spell for an open. Sell, he brought it and it went on to win the Yelverton Combine for him. Yeah, and that's yeah. a Lambert. He's had a good year, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, oh, yes. He's second, he second national. Yeah, unbelievable. To go. Yeah. It's another smashing cop, Pete. What's this one? It's a Sujan Keith, yeah. um, bred by Dave Vass down the road here. Um, call him Dodgy Dave. Yeah, Dodgy um, Dave. <laughs> second fed last week. Yeah. And uh, he also won the breed of Byron Windsor last year. Yeah, was he a good young, young bird? Good young bird, was he? Terrible young bird. Was he? Yeah, worse than the shit. Yeah, he comes out and wins the Yeah, it just shows you, doesn't it? Um, unbelievable. So was he? Uh, he's still obviously a roundabout cop. He's a roundabout cop, yeah. Pete, tell us how you started up. Ah, right. That was probably... I was 15. Yeah. So, uh, Long time 40, ago. 45 years ago. Uh, Saw some pigeons in a man's loft when I visited him one day, and uh, that was it. I had to have them. Yeah. And uh, flew on my own for ooh, 25, 30 years, I suppose. Yeah. And then uh, got in partnership with Steve. Can you remember your first winner? I can remember my first winner, yep. Yeah. It uh, was from Tours in the Free Borders Fed. And uh, yeah, won it easy. My yeah. first ever race. Yeah, you won the fed. First ever winner. I've won the oh, fed. Oh, that's a brilliant go, isn't it? Yeah. Well, lads, how do you think the sport's going? What's your opinion on the sport at the moment? Well, it's certainly dying, without yeah. a doubt. But yeah. I think, in a strange way, it's becoming more competitive. Definitely, yeah. Uh, the people who are still in it want to be in it, yeah. and uh, they try even harder. Yeah. And I think um, it's probably the way it's going to go until all die off but yeah. uh, one off races might save it a little bit but um, they're not going to be the be all and end no all. youngsters coming into sport uh, is it no youngsters coming into no, sport they don't want to come away from them screens and no it's a trouble electronic yeah. gadgets all right boys thank you very much for having me around this morning mate i've enjoyed seeing your pigeons thanks thank Steve. you very much thanks for coming mate you're welcome anytime